bad take for y'all. Uh, extremely horrible take for y'all. Now, the whole Bronny James situation was not really a situation, but I know the team he's about to play for, and it's painfully obvious that y'all don't see this coming. All right, let's just jump right into it. Uh, Bronny James averaging about four points a game, two rebounds, two assists, horrible numbers. Like, generally people talk to their agents, bro, what do you think we jump with going to the league? Uh, you think I should try it? Somebody told him, hey, bro, go ahead and go for it. Why would somebody give a college athlete this advice with these with this stat line? Unless it was pre-planned. I seen um, Bronny play in high school. Uh, I seen his shot selection. I seen him play a very athletic player. Uh, Bronny is really talented. He's not on LeBron level, but he could be a really, really solid like role player. Uh, not a superstar, but a role player in the league. So um, he could really be like a good uh, Robin to somebody's Batman. And uh, he's not playing like that. Um, so I think that was pre-planned by his dad. Who everybody know LeBron James is a think is he has very high IQ. Um, LeBron and Bronny, uh, I believe they're trying to meet up uh, and play for the Mavs. Why did I say the Mavs? Um, we are, you know, what that scratch that, not the Mavs. Bronny and they they're trying to meet up and play for the Cavaliers. I don't know why I said Mavs. They trying to meet up and play for the Cavaliers, obviously, right? And what's going to be the telltale here, right? This is gonna be the telltale here. If they uh resign, if they if they trade away Donovan Mitchell and keep Garland, this is gonna be the telltale. Because the team has to be a young team, they a, a young and talented team, right? That LeBron brings the veteran leadership to the team, right? But even after LeBron is gone, because Brown only got he said two years, he got three years left in him. He got Two more competitive years, then he got one more year to play with uh, both his sons. And, you know, his, his youngest son, Bryce, just went to Ohio State. So, he got three more years left in him. Two more competitive. This, this is going to be the first year he played with Bronny that he really going to contend for uh, uh, a championship. So, that's why they're going to Cleveland. He'll play with the Young Bulls, and he'll help get their mind together that, that, that first year over there. The second year will be them competing for a title, and they're playing a lot better. 50-win season, I guarantee it. A 50-win season, I guarantee it. Uh, best team in the East, hands down. Uh, Boston ain't ready. Um, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I think this year will be Boston year, and after that, um, you know, it'll kind of fall to the wayside. But back to this. Bronny is forcing his way. Bronny stats low. Nobody should want him, right? But he still declared. And he declared, but he still entered the transfer portal. Why is that? Because if some other team drafts him, because the plan is for nobody to draft him. If another team drafts him in the draft, right, he got to be able to say, you know what, no, I'm not going, right? So that's the plan. And then LeBron will follow on his contract as well and go over there and play with, with, uh, with Bronny. They're meeting up in Cleveland. And then Bryce is going to join him as well. So it'll be the three of them. But it has to be a young team with solid players. You understand that? It got to be a young team with solid players. I see it coming. It's painfully obvious. Y'all let me know in the comments below if y'all agree or not. Was all of this staged? Was all of this pre planned? Because y'all know the way LeBron is. Y'all know the way he give it up. He thought about this way ahead of the game. That's the way LeBron James get down. Let me know in the comments. Let me know.